Have you ever noticed how big YouTubers are talking about social media marketing agency, SMMA? Your agency, but you're going to be able to do it without spending a single euro, pound, dollar, franc, dinar. Ladies and gents, in today's video, I'm going to go over the three keys to scaling to $10,000 a month with your agency. Man, so that it is not too difficult to get a sale. And for fulfillment, we want something that is easy to fulfill. And have you even wanted stepping into the SMMA world without any experiences and even making a mark, earning 10k per month, 20k per month, or even like Iman, 1 million a year. So with lots of curiosity, I've decided to step into the SMMA world myself to see what it has to offer. Is the market oversaturated, like what people say, or it has something to offer? So here's how it unfolds. So today is day one of me starting a SMMA agency and to me today is just laying down the foundation like creating the company name. I used an AI business name generator named Lix and for this it is very easy to set up. So over here I shortlisted a few choices and OTK Creative Media is born. creating the logo. So I'm using app logo to help me generate a logo and it is extremely easy to set up and it is free. The quality is not being jeopardized at all and I would say that all of them is pretty good. So after that you are given four different folders and here is the final result. Setting up the Google workspace. I'm using business starter which cost me about $10 a month giving my agency a business name to use and hopefully to get .com domain. And this is one extremely important tip that most YouTubers talk about, which is getting yourself a professional email domain, ideally one with .com. Yes. I got my .com domain via Namecheap and it cost me $12 a year. That's all for day one. If you guys have any opinion, suggestions or even feedback on how my new company, how my new agency is being designed or where do you think that it can be improved, it can be made better please share it in the comment section below Thank you! Now, head on to day 2 For day 2, it's time to generate some leads So for leads, there are actually a lot of space for us to explore but I've decided to generate most of my leads from LinkedIn So I'm using Apollo since it is the most loved GTM platform in B2B it is widely used to research a prospect in LinkedIn, so to target the perfect contacts and accounts. So in this instance, I'm looking for job titles of the following in Singapore. Email status, remember to check, verify and guest. Final step, just click access email. It will be saved under saved. So this is how I clean the data. I include company, industry, prospect name, title, email, and the first email date, first follow-up date, and the second follow-up date. After I have extracted the contacts from LinkedIn, and after I clean all my data, it's time to reach out to people. So I used to work in the influencer marketing agency, and here is the best tips that they have for cold emailing. So first, send out three emails total to every client, and for each email, the interval would be three days, meaning you send a first email, wait for three days, and send a second email. Wait for three more days and send out the final email. So the first email is a brief introduction of what your company is about, what's your name and what you are able to provide in a very surface level. Second up, follow up. This would be just a very easy follow up just to make sure that they are not missing the first message. So for the third one is you have to carry a very strong hook. So for this, I've decided to give a free video editing. So once you are set, send out 85 emails per day just to prevent you getting cancelled or blocked just to stay safe so for day three i've decided to add in a touch of professionalism professionalism into my email by adding deck and meanwhile preparing our point slides to pitch to potential clients so this is a cover page and i introduce why shots is the highest engagement right now so over here, I explain the difference between our agency and a typical agency. So for the retainer model, I have three different hierarchies. So this is the first one, second one, and the third one, which is the final one. So I'm charging 1006 for 12 short creations and 10 graphic designs plus copywriting. And a simple about page ask. 
what I did for my PowerPoint slide and the deck. It's relatively simple because I don't have testimonial or I don't have result. But I want to provide them a complimentary first video editing, post-production, filming and all those just to have a sense of can we actually work together. But it's not entirely for free, so here's the catch. So as you guys can see in the retainer earlier, 12 videos for 1006 for a 3 months retainer. So let's say if they loved the first video and they decide to sign on the retainer, we just have to provide the 11 videos because the, the first one is included in the package itself. So it's not really FOC, it's just a way to understand your client's preferences and needs. So if you guys want to know whether this is a waste of time or it's an effective strategy to capture your client's attention and potentially securing a deal, please leave in the comment section below and like for more and I will just post out any updates that I have. Day 4 and Day 5, I would say that it's a test of patience and I've received quite a number of responses in my inbox and this is how I've responded to them. If you guys think that there is a better way on how to reply them, please leave in the comment section below. And I've even managed to get someone on the call. So the way I pitch and actually I make use of one of the slides the about us which I feel that is genius on stating why you don't own an office to like actually drive down the cost. So actually for the pitching style and all those, I'm replicating a little bit from how Iman does it with his clients. So he has released like a one hour video pitching to his client earning like 6k for that video i feel that that's a fantastic video and if you guys want to learn how to pitch and all those please do check out i will leave in the description below so here is the call highlights how are you doing are you okay have you eaten lunch and yeah crazy weather super hot yes yeah yeah uh, i have a call book 45 minutes later so how does this call like normally works right is I will just ask you a few questions to have like a mutual understanding whether like we are a good fit to work together and like if I think you are a good fit then I will proceed on with the remaining of the pitch is it okay with you guys like what are like some of the challenges that you guys face currently we would like to have some video shooting for our, some of our brands also because uh, actually we are doing in a group level so we are taking care of the social. So like, okay, how I would explain like a typical marketing agency uh, is they don't dare to like say, hey, money back if my quality is not good. Yeah, because like they outsource to someone, uh, they eventually they have to pay that someone for the work to come back. So like impossible, you just take the work to go back then after that ask them to like, hey, we do and all those difficult for the quality control. So what we are offering for the same price, but then increase in 50% for the short creation and 50% increase in the graphic design. Debating like, hey, should we spend like 3 to 4k or not to like own an office? Then talent wise, I don't think we will need. Talent to in office? Usually, or oh, I will be there. Sometimes, if you don't mind, uh, we can do like a bit of voiceover. Then after that, so what do you guys think? Do you think I can close the deal with the way I pitch or how can I improve? Please share it in the description below. I didn't manage to close them on the call itself and they told me to like propose to them by sending them an email of my content ideas that I have and stay tuned.